And first up, a candid admission from first-time mom Tamar Braxton. She reveals that she had a hard time getting attached to her first baby son. It's a feeling that's a lot more common than you might think. We're going to talk to Dr. Jen Ashton about that in a minute. First, here's Braxton's exclusive interview with ABC's Abby Boudreaux. After revealing her love on top for the first time on GMA, <laughs> we now have the first glimpse of Tamar Braxton's eight-week-old baby boy, Logan, in the latest issue of Us Weekly. People don't know whether no. I'm fat or no. pregnant. Always outspoken about her struggles during pregnancy. I'm pregnant, tired, and fat. In this exclusive interview with GMA, she's just as candid about her post-baby struggles. Did you ever feel unattached to your baby? I guess in a sense I did feel unattached because, you know, I really, really wanted to connect with him because I, I wanted to breastfeed. And when he didn't latch on and when I couldn't produce milk, I just felt like, is this the wrong child? You know what I mean? Am I the wrong mother? No, really. You said you didn't immediately fall in love. I didn't. I loved him, you know, but I wasn't like, oh, gosh, yes, my baby, ooh, you know, it wasn't that. It was more like, what do I do now? Tamar says she felt disappointed more than depressed. What did you think when the baby was first handed to you? I was in shock, and, uh, you know, it took me a few days to really, like, come to terms with the fact that I am a mom, and this is my baby. <laughs> Uncomfortable in her new role as a mom, Tamar says she didn't change her son's diaper for the first week and a half. Well, you know, I was questioning my motherhood. Like, is this a mistake that God made? Is this something that I need to hand over to my husband? Because he and the baby connected instantly. And I wanted that. And I, I guess I was a little jealous, pretty much. That's am I being really honest here? Yes, thing. I am. Mental health experts say Tamar's experience is common. The research says that 20 to 30 percent of moms feel this way. And I actually think it's higher. It's just that most moms are too embarrassed to admit it. Tamar says once her son started to breastfeed, she finally felt a connection. When he finally latched on, I felt like he got me and I got him, and this was all meant to be. I've been thinking about you. Now, busier than ever, Tamar is working on her upcoming album, really starring in two reality shows and hosting a new talk show. But she says being a mom is her number one priority. I am very happy. I feel complete. He is the best thing that ever happened to me. For Good Morning America, Abby Boudreaux, ABC News, Los Angeles. And Jen Ash and Dr. Jen Ashton, our senior medical correspondent here, delivered over a thousand babies. And this is something you actually saw quite a lot. Yeah, I saw it absolutely with my patients. You know, one in five women will go through this, probably more. Can we imagine, you guys, how it would feel to hear someone close to you who's just delivered say, I'm not feeling it with this baby. How would we react to that? This is an incredibly well, hard thing. What do you do thing. when they say it to you? First, acknowledge how hard it is to right. admit this and how brave someone has to be to admit that to themselves and to others and then reassure that in the short term, this is common. It can be a sign of postpartum depression, but just because a woman feels this way doesn't mean she has postpartum depression. And Jen, depression. can it also just be pure exhaustion? I mean, you can't really feel much. You know, Number one, there's sometimes drugs or involved. Shock. I mean, you've just yeah. gone through a lot. I mean, it can Give be all those break. things, you guys. And you know, the important thing is what goes on in the delivery room physically does mm -hmm. not a parent make. Yeah. What makes someone a parent is social, it's emotional, and that will occur at a different time period for, for different every people. for different people. Yeah. Absolutely. Could it happen even if you were great with your first baby, but not with your second or your third? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's more common with the first, but you guys, when I had my daughter, who was my second, I was used to being a mom to a little boy, and they handed her to me, and I said, what do I do with a girl? I don't even like pink, so it can happen. What are the signs that it could be something more serious? Well, you know what, George, if it doesn't resolve in a couple of days, if there are other signs of postpartum depression, withdrawal, tear tearfulness, you can't go about your day-to-day -day tasks with that baby after a couple of days, you want to have that bravery and courage and ask for help. And she, she was very brave, as we've been saying, and oh. it's, it's great to hear what she's saying now. And her husband, Vincent, he is a prince, Absolutely. one of the nicest guys you'd ever want to be around, so she's very, yeah. very blessed. And good to do it express that emotion again get it out yeah. listen it you know out. sometimes we see celebrities come out with things and we say well yeah you know that's a that's a no-brainer this yeah. took courage yeah. and yeah. to every woman going through this it, it's an enormously brave thing Good to do thanks very much